Yo, what's goody? It's your boy Aaron Aztec, and in today's video, I show you two extremely cheap, extremely effective Argentavis traps. Now, if you do find any of this information helpful, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's go. So for the first trap, you're going to need 13 pillars, one stone gateway, and one stone gate. Now, first things first, you're going to want to place down your stone gateway, and then you're going to get the pillar out. You want to place the pillar dead center in the middle, it might help if you go into orbital view to be able to get that there. That pillar there is going to help you space out so you can get all the right measurements for everything else. So the RG can't escape. Once you have that placed, you should be able to place another one two pillar lengths apart. And that's the perfect length you need for it. It should just snap into place. Once you have that set, just snap the other two into place on the right hand side and the left hand side and build them up four levels high, at least the same height as the gate frame. Now remove the pillar from the center of the gate frame and then place the gate in and you're done. I didn't do this straight away, but I do recommend putting either a ceiling or a hatch frame on the top just to make sure it can't escape through the top. Two should do the trick. Now to test it out. Our PT flies through the hole perfectly, gets through, lands. Now we just have to wait for the RG to come through. RG comes through and it's perfectly stuck. We shut the gate and that RG is going nowhere. A few tranks or heaps of tranks and he is out and asleep. But wait, will this work for a snow owl or a griffin? Let's test it. First off, we're going to try the snow owl. Secondly, the griffin. Success. So now with the second trap, you're going to need nine stone fence supports, one stone dinosaur gateway, and one stone dinosaur gate. So this trap is built very similar to the last one. We're going to place down our dinosaur gate, and then we're going to get the stone fence support out, place it dead set in the middle again, go into orbital view, and get it lined up just right. From there, the other stone fence support should just snap onto the sides, kind of on an angle, from the top down, it should look like a V or an arrow. Now, once you have them placed, you're going to stack them up all the way to the top, just like the other one, to the same height as the stone gateway. Then snap in your door and you're done. Now to test it out. So the PT can fly through the hole very easily. We land, wait for the RG to come through. And the RG is stuck. Oh, and don't forget to close the door. Thank you. Couple tranks later and our bird is asleep. But wait, will this work for a snow owl or a griffin? Let's test it. First up, we've got the snow owl. What about the griffin? Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.